Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Early game, especially with a Callista in the hands of Ruler. When you've got the Ash with Vi combo as well, with a Zir to be able to swoop back if, if it all kicks off. Like, I feel like the pick composition here from JDG is potent, but Rookie on Talia is a pick composition. Doesn't seem like they're going to do it, but this, this sets up a dive. Shanji might get dived, but he did get the first CS of any top lane of this game. Got a second one as well. Cannon is there. Shanji is going to go down for first blood and missing walks away with it as well. Rookie and Yagao trading heavily in the mid lane as well. As uh, Flandre still not a single CS. It's still going to be traded for a dive at the top side. Play with and that'll start being more impactful, especially once we get neutral objectives spawning on the map. The junglers are running into each other. They certainly are. Aki versus Kanavi. Aki winning it out so far. Kanavi getting real low, and Shanji's here to help out as well. Kanavi, no flash after the dive. It's a solo kill for Aki. Huge going over to Aki. I mean, it seems like Kanavi. The 2v1 lanes on both opposite sides of the map. Like, this used to happen every game, and like, I mean, my memory's no good for which season's which, but it's like season four or something a long, long time ago. You see this all the time. <sighs> now we're back to that once again as Kanavi. Wants to set up a dive onto Shanji. The shield is there, but it's not going to be enough. Missing happy to tank once again. <laughs> so low, but he gets away with it. And let's remember, and I finish this one off. Shanji has got back into that bottom side. I don't know if he can defend this tower or not. The minion wave should be cleared here. So Ruler can't finish the job, but it means Photic will finish off the first tower. Minutes. We're getting close to sixes, where, which is where JDG can really start proactively pushing into enemy jungle. Kanavi getting his now, but when missing gets the enchant and crystal arrow will really be where JDG's comp can start just slamming. And I think this is huge. They're going to completely deny this one. JDG might be able to turn it into an advantageous fight. They're going to try and TP coming on through. Aki flashes to safety. Juo hooks in just to deny the engages. Shanji is 1v1ing Flandre on the bottom side of the fight. Rookie has moved in. Has that wall available? It's, wait a second, missing. Did he hit the blast cone there? Knockback comes on through. Shanji still zoning as Juo gets low. And Aki has to dive in to save his support. Voting over the wall, but he can't really get any damage down. And Aki will fall. Flandre Ooh. flashes the rocket. JDG just about get ahead. So we see NIP, they pick up the Drake, JDG able to get a kill off of it, and a little bit of pressure. And, uh, this is looking a little bit like the mid game, the TFs played against them, right? Just constantly poking and prodding your head into enemy jungle with the prios that you have, stealing away those camps and just maintaining that pressure. Gold lead, seismic oh. shove. It's not Kanavi picking, it's Kanavi getting picked. Nice flick back from Rookie and the follow-up from the rest of the team as well. NIP now with advantage on the map, just as Drake comes up, this will be their second. Yeah, and they look at Shanji, looking for the angle. Landre anticipates him. Photix just getting onto the tower, though. This is going to be a tier one taken for NIP, you'd expect. But the arrow lands, and it's an opportunity oh. for Yagao to knock it out of the park. Aki on the front lines trying to protect his team. Shanji just ain't tanky enough, and Rookie doesn't have their damage. Or does he? Finds one. Ruler gets out with his life, and Shanji's still going strong somehow. The shield comes on through, but Flandre dives into the back line. Aki gets the knockup. Can they finish the Void Beast? The answer's no. Huge play by JDG, Again. missing it. JDG find the angle, one and arrow onto Votic to start it off. Joel's here, Aki's here, but they're too late to contest. Drake for free, there is no available contest from JDG there, but then this arrow sets it up from missing. Yeah, and I, th I think a, a big part of it too is things like the Unraveled Earth already being used by Rookie, Seismic Shove being down, like a lot of things you don't have to worry about, so now Yagao can just jump forward and look for that Emperor's Divide. I mean, the NIP almost make a comeback with how squishy the members of JDG are, but still, once once they get in that threshold, Flandre can throw out the ult and just finish it off. Oh, another great arrow! Ah, uh, but he is on the top, so I got a little overexcited <laughs> on that one. <laughs> but I will say, Ruler is terrifying at this point in the game. Love this build or hate it when it's 3-0-3, and it's only 19 minutes on the clock. You know Ruler is in a terrifying spot right now. And NIP, they're going to have to do their best to just weather the storm at this point. I feel like they, at this point, cannot really contest and even fight. No, it's going to be incredibly hard, right? Because just that that same amount of damage isn't there. Being a bit equalized, yeah. I think for NIP, a lot of it's going to be about starting things off the way they did last time. Starting off with a bit of a pick yourself is Rookie's intercepted. Oh, no. Oh, what a blunder. Goes straight into the middle of everyone. Rookie, no way out of this one. As Flandre finishes the job trying to deny the siege, but actually just gifts over a kill. 
And it's small things like that, JDG. Yeah, Rookie doesn't find his knockup either. JDG posturing aggressively. Yagao does have his TP available. It looks like he is going to go for the long walk instead as Flandre tries to get into this brush. And I, I would think NRP should have a good idea. Go for the hook. Knockback. Another great arrow comes through. Photic denied at the start of the fight. Fate's called to save. Missing now is the front line being pushed away on the bottom side by NIP. Wall comes out from Rookie, but it kind of just separates Duo. Knockup's coming on through. And Kenobi's caught out. The reset for Photic as Flandre keeps himself alive using his own ultimate. But three down. And JDG sent packing. Missing next on the chopping block. And the rocket finds his mark. Ruler doesn't get slowed. The cleanse actually misused there and he will survive Isn't there from off of what they've seen but the real difference maker in my mind was actually what we see here where rookie's going to use this wall and it's like all right you actually kind of leave Joa and shanji section off to still lose that 3v3 but right there from rookie and raveled earth and the seismic shove gives Botic the ability to get the reset oh boy. we don't have a moment here jdg grab themselves a drink and nip aren't happy about it i don't think they can force a fight though if Dwarves hook goes wide, it's Siege now in the mid lane, and you've got a Jinx on your squad. You've got a Talia to deny potential engages. Feels good to try and Siege. Aki calls as Kanavi goes in onto Fotik. He's knocked into the action and executed by Ruler. Beautiful combo from JDG and Dwarf. He's going to feel the brunt on the end of the play. It's 10 on the board for JDG. JDG with the coordination to make the play possible. <laughs> that just means Kanavi can get it. Yeah, I mean, they lock him down with the fact that the Xinjiao CC, there's no one there to stop these years. We actually have a pick happening in the bottom left hand of our screen. Looks like someone on NIP being brought down. Flandre, he's got some Flandre. tunnels. Can he get out of this one? We've seen Rek'Sai get out of crazier situations. Shanji trying to chase it and will finish the job. So a kill there, but what do they lose elsewhere on the map? Because Yaga wants to a tier two. And the whole squad in that quadrant, so... If anyone from NIP tried to answer, there was opportunities for it's... a pick there, but it looks like NIP realized, hey, we can't contest this. We got our kill bot. It's all fine. Hey, Honestly, it's a slight gold lead for JDG. It's three drakes already, and it's looking like it. so. NIP not contesting. Rocket comes through, and Ruler's Spell Shield just blocks it entirely. That is a cloud solve for JDG. Still in the bracket. But we'll return to that later, because everyone, once again, as has been customary in this game, posturing for a fight. Arrow goes through onto Dwol this time as Rookie. I don't know if he misused his Sonya's there, but Dwol was just going to go down for it. A bit of a weird one from NIP, and JDG are more than happy to capitalize on it. There's one pick. It's Flandre not quite... I, I wonder if that wall was JDG meant to... shuts him down. Aki gets vision. They are just burning through this. Are they going to go for a 50-50? He gets in the pit. He doesn't get the smite, though. Ruler finding a kill and the Baron. Beautifully done. JDG now with everything. Yeah, it means that they just get to, to pick up with the waves and start pushing forward in a 5v4. This has been clean. Another arrow hits from missing and Yaga follows it up once again. This combo is too damn clean from JDG. A beautiful setup and a beautiful follow-up. JDG have rinsed NIP. I mean, their synergy is just so on point. They're working together so well to find those picks. And now NIP, I mean, going going down in the first game, backs against the wall because of it. My Lord, JDG, they had their way to mix this morning, didn't they? What a game number one, even early game. Very.